All right, YouTube, back at it again with the DIY project. Today I'm gonna make a carport. Well, not really a carport, but like a car cover. Not a full fledged like my neighbors there. Those cost a few thousand dollars. I've paid about $180 in materials so far. Got four posts. Four four by four with pressure treated posts. Got four stakes. And I got two 16 foot length two by sixes. And those two by fours are gonna grow across the top. Might just put a tarp on top. Um, might add tin. And I'll add another post in the middle because that's such a long length. But for now, I'm just gonna try to get it up and see how it goes. Gonna hammer those in six feet away from the house. Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. All right, so if anyone's wondering, I measured it six feet from the house, so it's sort of level, not level, parallel. Um, I'm taking this little handy dandy leveler, there's a magnet on it, and as you can see, it's a little off, so you just push it in the direction that you want it to go, and then you keep hammering it. It's not going to be perfectly level, but again, this is Kato DIY, so you know it ain't going to be perfect, but it's close enough. And I'm taking a 12 pound carbon freight mount, rather a sledgehammer, hammer, hard glass handle, and just and that's how we're getting this. These in. It's rained a lot, so the ground is rather soft, which makes a nice hammering. I don't know what this is rated for, hurricane-wise, but we're gonna put it on, put it up anyways, and when the hurricane starts feeding the onions, we'll see if she'll hold. All right, so here we go with the status. Uh, 16 foot stringer, as I said earlier. We have the poles, which have been leveled to the best of my ability. Those are lag bolts um, in replace of lag screws in replace of lag bolts. I put one in there. There's not going to be. I, I've decided not to put tin on the top, so I'm probably just going to put a tarp over there for now. But if I did put a tin metal tin, I'd probably have to do some calculations to see how many lag bolts is safe to hold all the weight. Uh, I really don't know how much each lag bolt is um, rated for, but they are a building code structural strength lag bolt. So it's going to hold the weight of this. It's just a frame, so it won't be too difficult. Put too much weight for it, but just put some slats up, put a tarp on there, and call it a day. If you guys found this video interesting. Give the video a subscribe, a like, dislike, however which way you want to go. But yeah, it's not bad for these $25 pop um, ground stakes. And um, don't pay attention to any of this. I didn't dig holes for these, I just hammered them in the ground with a mallet, 12 pound mallet. So, $25 for each post stake, nine dollars for each four by four by eight. This was twelve dollars a piece for the for this two by six by sixteen, and each two by four by twelve was, I believe, six dollars. So do the math. It uh, pretty but less expensive than that carport. But, subscribe to the channel if you found this interesting. If you liked it, this size is a 16 long by 12 wide. Sort of. Put those little straps. Does that do anything structurally? I don't know. But, maybe a little bit more rigidity. Rigidity. Is that a word? I'm not sure. But, if anyone's looking for a quick DIY cardboard, I said I'm gonna use a tarp on the top instead of tin.
sure the tin would probably hold, but let's just, for the sake of time, show you the end product. That is sloped, so the water would run off to the right side. By how many degrees? I don't know. But a little bit. But not a bad little carport. This is, like I said, 12 feet wide, give or take, by 16 feet long, give or take. If you guys enjoyed the video and are inspired, subscribe again to my channel. Please, thanks, bye. All right, YouTube, so this is the end. What I did is I put some screws. Can you see that there? Attached the tarp with some screws and washers. And now the whole tarp is up and it's ringing. So this is the test. Oh, when it starts pouring down, it won't stop. I did all of these at an angle. So let's see if that slope is enough for this soft tarp. But pretty much wrap the whole tarp around this bowl. And yeah, $20 Harbor Freight. Got a coupon. It's regularly $29 for $30. But $20 roof for this cheap DIY carport. And let's just see how long it lasts. Maybe it last a few months. Maybe not. I don't know. But if you found this video disturbing or interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.